Hi, it's Jo from Minerva. Today I'm going to show you how to put a neckband in a t-shirt, but not quartered. Um, that's on another video. I want to show you how to put a neckband in flat. So if you've been making a complete ring with your neckband and trying to insert it into the neck hole and not been getting much success, you've been getting it either curling forwards or lots of ripples around the neckline where it's um, added too tight, then I'm going to show you how to put it in flat, which might um, be a way for you to get a better neckband. I'm wearing um, Art Gallery jersey, which is beautiful quality for making a t-shirt and I have cut a t-shirt from the True Bias Rio Ringer t-shirt. The fabric that I'm using today is a really fine stripe. This is from the Minerva Core range, so this will always be available. It comes in lots of different colours. This is black and white, but there's some nice pastel shades and also some brights. It's got really good stretch recovery, so it's perfect for adding the armbands or for adding a neckband in the flat. If you want to have a go at this technique, the first thing you need to be aware of is that, is that you will only join one shoulder of your t-shirt. So now we've got the neckline open and it's nice and flat and I've got the neckband. I have cut the neckband because this fabric is stretchy both ways in equal measure. I have cut the neckband on the opposite grain so that I get the stripes running in a different way around the neck, it makes quite a nice feature. I'm going to fold the neckband wrong sides together. So I'm pressing the outside of the neckband to get a keen fold. And normally you would join it first and then you would have a neckband that you added pins in the quarter positions. But I'm going to keep this one open and I'll show you how to attach it to the neck hole. So with the fabric right side up, this is the right side of my t-shirt, I'm going to put the raw edges together at the halfway point. I've got my folded edge facing me and my raw edge facing away and now I can start to stretch the neckband but not the neck hole and pin around the neckband and you can feel the stretch a little bit more on the flat when it's in the round sometimes you're just so busy trying to make it fit the hole that you don't really think about the stretch of the fabric but when it's flat it's easy to manipulate when you put a neckband in on the flat, you can see much more if you've distributed the um, neckline fabric evenly. So I can see I've got lots of these in there. I can feel it as well when I pull it. I'm about the same in there. I feel like I might have a little bit more fabric in that quarter than in that quarter. So I might just distribute that bit a little bit more. And that's what you can do when you're working in the flat. You can see the distribution a little bit more. So you can really make sure that you're not overstretching or understretching. When it's in this circle, you're just sort of glad to get it to fit in the circle, no matter how much you've stretched it one side or the other. My machine is going to be on a stretch stitch. And I'm going to use um, a very, very narrow stitch. So my zigzag won't be in a zigzag shape. It will be so narrow that it will just make a wiggly line. And I'm going to put it on stitch length 3 or 3.5 because I want it to have an element of stretch. And I don't want the stitches to ping when it's stretched around my neck and I want to make a 1.5 seam allowance. Now check seam allowances for neck bands on a pattern because sometimes um, they make the neck seam allowance smaller than the side seam so you can double check that. When you're sewing you need to make sure you're keeping a little bit of tension on the neck band but you're not stretching the neck hole. 
so you're wanting to just stretch it enough to get those wrinkles out but not over stretch it and you need to be particularly sure when you get to the end that you using the right seam allowance because you need that to match up with the other end so make sure that you're going to have your seam allowances the same And you will get a little bit of wrinkling when you've first sewn it, but you can press that out. Depending on how you're going to finish your um, neckband will depend on how you're going to treat the seam on the back. So at the moment, the seam on the back is way too big. But if I'm going to twin needle, sew that down, then I could twin needle all of that down at the back. So that would help that to stay down. If you just like it as it is, you can trim it off. So if you trim the seam allowance, that will help your front neck curve better. Or you could trim half of the seam allowance out and do a single row of stitching. You can overlock the back as well. So find out how you want to finish it and that will be the best technique for you. I've decided I'm going to do a single row of top stitching on uh, this top. So I have trimmed the seam allowance out by half and now I'm going to close up the shoulder and open out the neck binding at the same time so i'm going to match up the ends of the neck binding because that's really important for the finish i'm going to make sure my seam allowances are pointing away from the neck band ready for my top stitching and then i'm going to pin the rest of the seam I'm going to take my I did just have this a little bit less because I really wanted a bit less um, tightness in the neck so I did nick half a centimetre off there so but that's fine because my um, seam line will be 1.5 and I'll be trimming off a bit of excess anyway I'm going to sew along that shoulder seam also now you can either overlock along there or uh, jersey won't fray so you can, if it's a t-shirt you can just, and it's not going to be seen under that shoulder seam, you just trim it off. And now you can press it open. So, you, so you've just got your thicker bit of fabric on your shoulder instead of at your back neck, which you would have if you put it on in the round. So it depends if you wear it and you think that feels pretty comfortable, then that's fine too. I'm going to open out the seam so that when I top stitch around, I'm keeping that nice and flat. You might want to just hand stitch those little corners down. But it's time to go round the neck with the top stitch. And that's how you add a neckband in the flat. And I'm not getting this curling down and I've not got any ripples around here where it's too tight. The fabric and pattern that I've used will be listed below um, so you can have a go at making a t-shirt. You can find your best method for putting in a neckband. Do pop over to Minerva and have a look at our other jersey fabrics too. Join us again soon for some more sewing tutorials and thank you very much for watching.